go first. A. 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 Yay. Have a good one. Hey guys, something in me just told me to turn on the camera and just vlog this moment. So here I am, the leasing office. Yay. Hi guys, welcome to the next clip of the vlog. I'm currently at Walmart right now. I'm gonna pick up a plan B, but that's not the point. Sorry to any of my like elder relatives that is watching this. <laughs> but anyways, the point of why I started to record this clip is because I wanted to update you about the last clip. So I went into the leasing office and I talked to the very nice woman, Michelle. I put down a $315 um, deposit, like holding deposit. That's gonna go straight to the security deposits. So it won't be an extra fee or anything. It's just going towards what I was already going to pay in the first place. Our move-in date is April 1st. The earliest that they had open was March 18th, but I chose and asked her to move it over to April 1st because I feel like that just gives us more time to save up money. The first of the month is a more reasonable date. Yeah, I'm so excited. Jordan has been saying all morning how excited he is. Let me like park, I wanna park in the parking lot behind me like put my car this way so there's better lighting so that's what i'm gonna do oh no this lighting's trash oh no come on it's turned all the way around for nothing it's a good thing walmart isn't packed sorry people are staring at me okay i'm just gonna keep my behind right in this parking space right here. Everything is going well, it's going in our favor. We officially have a move in date for April 1st. A, 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 April 1st, A, A, A. So ever since yesterday, I stayed up all the way till like freaking two o'clock in the morning. I was tired the whole rest of the day because I was looking at like, electric fireplaces, sectionals, how I'm gonna do the house. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys what this house looks like. I'm gonna do like an empty house tour or a empty apartment tour. And then when we furnish it, I'm gonna do a furnished apartment tour. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so I can take you along on my journey, on our journey, I should say, because this isn't just my journey. Jordan and I are going along this adventure together. And um, I'm just gonna take you throughout the rest of the day with me. So right now I'm obviously at Walmart because I'm gonna get that plan B because hell no. Please God, do not give me a baby. But if he does give me a baby, then I guess I'll have to no, hell no, I ain't having no baby, fuck that shit, uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't get me wrong, I like children. If you know me in person, I am a child person. Like, I'm a child at heart, so me and children, we got it like that, but... No, no. Okay guys, so I'm back in the car and I got my my little thing. These are literally like unrealistically hard to freaking open. Wait. Oh, there's like a little socket in the back here. There's like, what the heck? How do you get that open? These are so hard to open for what? Okay, so the socket only opens like that freaking much of it. What the hell? Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just tearing this thing up. What? Okay. <laughs> I got the box! Hey! It says here to open. Screw that. I'm opening this thing from the bottom. Wait, what? Maybe I should have listened. All of this work for a pill 
that is this big. What the hell? All of that work, all of that labor for that. So I'm gonna just take my water bottle. Bye bye. <laughs> Guys, listen, this is not abortion, okay? This is plan B. It is before the fertilization happen, you're like stopping that process. It's basically like one time birth control and it has just the same accuracy as birth control. Like obviously there's a small chance that you get pregnant off of birth control and there's a small chance that you still get pregnant off of plan B. But for with birth control, I don't know if you have to pay for that monthly, if that's covered by insurance, but you're still paying for it over a long period of time. Plan B is just like, oh, slipped up. Let me just do this real quick. You know what I mean? Sorry, elders, if you're watching this. I'm 18 years old in a week, so I, I'm grown. I'm allowed to do this. It's 10.53 and I'm gonna go make my way to the leasing office and I'm gonna drop off Jordan's signed application. So he filled out the application. He just signed it in the wrong spot. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go drop that off and talk to Michelle a little bit and give you guys any updates if any updates happen. And then we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and go to school, okay? Currently, at Jordan's job right now because um, he texted me and asked me I could bring him some creamer so that's exactly what I did I brought him some coffee creamer Jordan just like walked by <laughs> and he saw me through the window freaking vlogging myself <laughs> I'm gonna stop at the dollar store actually and I'm gonna um, pick up two notebooks or three notebooks because I need books to write in so I'm gonna head over there real quick nice green one the reason why I got the green one is because I know that my um, biology's teachers favorite color is green I got purple for English English class reminds me of purple this one I got for psychology I think I matched up the colors with the subject very well if you ask me oh my god guys if you don't you guys don't know this about me my like lucky numbers are 41 and 14 because they're the same number just flipped backwards and i look in front of me a card just pulled up in front of me and it says 14 14. so i'm just gonna say thank you to the universe i'm just on the right track i'm on the right path so funny because i just went over to talk to michelle and handed in the application and then i go to the dollar store and buy things for my college education and then i see 1414 14 right in front of me it just seems like everything is just falling into place as it's supposed to be i just love that i love that i see synchronicities around me all the time guys if you have a lucky number and you see it at the weirdest time or at the most perfect time take that in consideration just take a moment and just say thank you to god or the universe or whoever you pray to i'm gonna call it a good day so it's about 11:30 now i'm debating on whether i should get a coffee from dunkin donuts or get something from the starbucks on campus my hair is like a mess today i kind of look like a lion but it's cool so i'm just gonna take it down i kind of just want my hair to breathe right now so i just called the campus and the lady who answered wasn't certain if Starbucks was open. I'm not a fan of uncertainty. Plus, I kind of just want a nice drink to, to uh, you know, assist me on this half hour drive. So I'm just gonna go over to Duncan and get my usual drink. I don't want to end up getting there and not having anything to drink. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head over to Duncan right now. Um, I'll see you at Duncan when I'm ordering my drink, and you guys get to know what I order. <laughs> Sugar. Mix. Order 2.5, the best mix oh, from yeah, guys, I totally forgot to mention that I'm turning 18 in six days. So if you have not subscribed, give me a subscription for my 18th birthday. Mwah! Thank you. 
Good morning. Welcome to Duncan Downs. Can I just get a medium decaf iced coffee? Good morning. No, thank you. Can I have a medium iced matcha latte? And can you make that um, instead of whole milk? Can it be oat milk, please? I'm sorry, we're out of oat milk. We do have almond milk. Okay, I'll do almond milk. Okay. All right, and um, extra sugar. Okay, thank you. My car is a freaking mess right now. I have those notebooks that I just got, Plan B packages, one glove hanging around, freaking acceptance letters for our apartment, water bottle, cup for Jordan's freaking creamer, a mask, well I need the mask, but the hair tie that I just took out of my hair. Jordan got in here, he'd be like, girl, what the hell are you doing? Clean this shit up. Uh. There you go. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh my god, I put the car in park and then tried to go. Here goes this half hour drive. Wish me luck. I've never went on a half hour drive all by myself before. I've always had Jordan like telling me, okay, you're gonna turn here. Okay, stay in this lane here. So I <sighs> wish me luck, guys. Okay, hey, y'all, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm having a very hard time trying to park at this enormous freaking campus. Oh my God. Okay, so it says, authorized vehicles only and then i have to go through this like big thingy in front of my car and i'm not trying to do that so i'm about to like turn around and try to find somewhere else to park oh my god this is a process it's a good thing i left early because it's that time and i have to be in class by 45. okay guys i met somebody <laughs> i met somebody just as i ended that clip where i was like what the hell am i gonna do authorized parking she parked We're there yesterday. Authorized. <laughs> authorized <laughs> enough. We go to the freaking school. So look at how big this campus is compared to the other one. It's freaking huge. So she's actually in the same exact class as I am. Yes, how funny is that? I am. And then we have the same class after too. So yes. we're friends now. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh. It's so cute in here. I can come in here every day. I just. You could probably enjoy right on the computer. Oh yeah, that's it's true. Crazy. Just want to show you guys really quickly how freaking cool this campus is. Look at all of the flags that they have right here. Oh my god, they have every single flag. I hope. I hope they're not leaving anybody out. But that's so cool. I just wanted to show you guys that. This door is freaking huge. Look, this is my hand all the way at the top. Pull this down a little bit. So cute. 